In this video for Canvas for OneNote, I'm going to talk to you about browsing your Canvas environment, organizing your work spatially, and finding information using the activity view. Let's go right ahead and start talking about browsing the notebook. This is one of the primary features of the Canvas that we think you'll use the most. What you just saw me do was zoom out from the page to the section, and to do that I hit the right click button. Now let's zoom into a page by going over it and using the left click. We make left click and right click the primary ways to browse a Canvas thinking that this will help you get around faster. You could also manually zoom in and zoom out using the wheel. Wheel up, we'll zoom in, and moving the wheel down, we'll zoom out. Very similar to most mapping applications that are out there. This can be great when you want to find a greater level of detail on a page that you may not see with the default view. There's another mode that will change the wheel behavior that we call scroll mode. On pages like this that might be slightly longer, you can actually left click into them again. You'll notice that the page will get closer and fill up more of the screen. Now if you use the wheel, we're actually going to scroll up and down. This makes it really easy to read your content without having to worry about it panning from side to side if you were to do that. To get out of this mode, either left click or right click to go back. So that covers the basics of being able to browse your notebook. Let's go ahead now and talk about how you could organize your work spatially. To do that, I'm going to zoom out to my entire canvas. What you see here is that I've got a few different sections with a few different pages in them, and I want to reorganize this. To do that, in order to move, I need to move my mouse over to the title of the different pages, or the section itself. This is so it's easy to pan at different times and not have it be conflicted with moving items as well. Let me give you an example. If I were to zoom in and wanted to move this page, I wouldn't be able to pan, which is one of the common behaviors we want to do in the canvas. So to limit your hit range, we actually made it that you have to move the title, very similar to most windows, so we hope you get the metaphor there. Let's zoom out and just go ahead and take this page. You'll notice I get the arrows. I can left click and drag and move it to my canvas or anywhere I like. I can take another page and move it to the section here. Notice that when I do this, the section will grow to fit the new page that I'm adding. I could also have done this by actually resizing this section initially. If I go to the right or bottom sides, you'll notice I get an arrow showing that I can resize this. Let's go ahead and resize the right side of this out by clicking and dragging that. You can see it has now more room, and I could take this page and drag it in as well. Another thing I can do is actually scale my pages as well. This will help me organize information by making certain sections more important or less important. I could also do this with pages. Let's zoom out for a second and say I want to make this section smaller because it's something I don't use so much anymore. But this section over here is something I want to look at frequently, so let's make it larger. And maybe specifically, it's a certain page. I can take this page and make that larger within the section itself. And this way, when I'm zoomed out, I really customize the space to the way that I work. I can quickly locate this page, and information I don't commonly use is down over here, but also easy to get to. That's the quick basics of organizing your space spatially. Now let's go to the final step of finding information using the activity view. Again, let's zoom out to get the best view of this. Activity view can be found through the little clock icon here down in the corner. Let's click to activate it. You'll notice that some of the pages may dim or out or light up depending on the date range selected. And I have a little bar down here. This may look a little bit different, at least the dates will, depending on when you last or first modified content. I can actually adjust the date range on both ends to set the range. I can drag this left end to set when things started and this right side to set when they end. And then clicking in the middle and dragging left to right will highlight the different items that were modified during the time that's highlighted. So you can notice here that over this time in March there's only a few pages that I happen to touch. And you can notice that they're spread out throughout the canvas. Well, that's all the time we have for today, and you've learned how to browse your notebook, organize your work spatially, and finding information using the activity view. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy using Canvas for OneNote.